it's totally fine. I have a lot more stories. That you do. Yeah. <laughs> that no. you do. Guilty as charged <laughs> with the stories. <laughs>everyone welcome thank you so much for tuning in to i've got something to say this is the podcast my podcast where i tell stories from my life and um, sometimes they're they're interesting usually not but thank you so much for tuning in to this week's episode called some assembly required so as a young kid relatively young kid i was thrust into different leadership positions and I will say it's not always something that I wanted. Like, for instance, in uh, as a fifth grader, I was asked by teachers to run to be student council president of my grade school. This was not something I really wanted to do. I wouldn't have chosen, like, if they had a sign up. But, like, okay, you're asking me to do it. All right, what the heck. So I became Blackburn's student council president. Uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you. Yes, we uh, we accomplished a lot of great things my sixth grade year. Then I went on to junior high, took a little break from leadership. Yeah. Uh, you know, I was just busy growing pubes and whatnot. So then I went to high school and I meet a friend, my buddy Paul. Paul was very, dri yeah, yay, Paul. He was a very driven young man. And one thing that stood out to me more than anything else was, while well, the rest of us were just doofuses that had no idea what we wanted to do with our lives and... I'm, I'm, I'm painting with a brush that says everybody was like that. Let me be clear. I was very much like that. I didn't know what I wanted to do. And then I meet Paul and we become good friends and, uh, just really kind of an instant, uh, boy crush on each other. And Paul knows what he wants to do, man. He wants to be a leader. He wants to go into leadership. Very important to him to do that. So. I'm like, well, Paul's my friend. He likes leadership. I guess, I guess I'll like leadership too. So I became a student council rep and then I, um, went in and ran for the student council executive board. I was the student and community concerns chairperson. I urge everyone to listen to that story as well in the past. Oh, how you got yeah. elected that. Yeah, yeah. Go on, Chris. Yes, that's a another good podcast. So those of you that are, you know, faithful listeners know I did win. I ran. I won. Uh, yay for me. <laughs> Won't give away any more on that. And then I became senior class president. And Paul and I had this, you know, sort of a grand plan. He was going to be the student council president. I was going to be the senior class president. And our friend Brendan was going to be the editor-in-chief of the newspaper so that we would control everything at school. And it was going to be so cool. Uh, <laughs> turns out it was all right. You know, we had a good time. We had a fun senior year. And... There was a, I, I don't even remember, maybe you can help me, Paul. There was an assembly that needed to be done, but what was... No, no wrong it, already. Wrong already. <laughs> okay, help me out. I was the student body president, and I felt like we needed an assembly. Right. This wasn't like faculty came and said, hey, you need to do this. Yeah. It was you saying, I see a need yeah, as a young spirit, person. School spirit, let's get everyone together. It's almost the holidays. Let's do this. That's right. And you put together a heck of an assembly, as I recall. There were Thanks. funny skits. Yes. There, um, maybe some music. I don't uh -huh. recall. There was. Was there? Was there music? Yep. Okay. I did something at that assembly. Well, right. because I was putting it together, I knew we need someone who's who has something to say to be <laughs> the host hey, of this. I've got something to say. So you were the MC. I asked you to be the MC. That's right. right. That's right. So Using I that charming personality that all the podcasts and listeners <laughs> have grown to love. <laughs> yes. So I was the MC. Oh, and I do remember this. I do remember at one point, I think this was sort of an improv thing that I did, <laughs> but I asked everyone to please stand up and to turn and face somebody next to them. And make eye contact, some extended eye contact. And as you're looking at that person, okay, now spit. <laughs> Do you remember that? Yeah. So stupid. So I asked, you know, that in my mind, it was a huge hit. Um, it was a hit. Okay. Yeah. 
So anyway, the the assembly went really well. And I think it was especially important because I think you met a little bit of resistance when you asked to right. do the assembly right. and brought the idea forward. That's right. And so you had to sell. Had to sell to the administration. Yes. So sold to the administration. The thing went off really well. Everyone had a grand time. Everyone did. I mean, it's one of the few assemblies that I still hear classmates talking about to this day. <laughs> Always posting about it on the social medias and whatnot. But I do remember, like, either later in the day of the assembly or maybe the next day or the next week, I was walking down the hallway. It was right after the assembly. <laughs> we were walking out. <laughs> so it was at some point after the assembly, apparently immediately after. And you were walking... Maybe about five, six feet in front of me. Yes, I do remember you were a little bit behind me. Yeah. And here comes our principal, Leroy Brown. And not the bad, bad Leroy Brown, but it actually was his name, Leroy Brown. Nice enough fella. <laughs> and, <laughs> and he stopped me and really gave profuse kudos to me. Not just about being MC, but just about the great assembly that I had put together and great job. Thank you so much, Chris, for making this happen. I think, I think this has uh, got a lot of people more interested in school that haven't been. Um, it's certainly touched lives, um, right now. And that's probably going to last a long time. And thank you so much, Chris, for making this happen. <laughs> now, the right thing to do would have been to turn around. <laughs> To my best friend, <laughs> who's just a few steps behind me, and say, oh, no, Mr. Brown, you've got me confused with Paul. This was his idea. He put it all together. <laughs> I just stood and said stupid stuff into a microphone. This is the guy you want to thank. It was his brainchild. He conceived it. He delivered it. He birthed it. He nursed it at his teat, and he made it happen. That would have been the right thing to say. <laughs> But the funny thing to say was, oh, my God, thank you so much, Mr. Brown. Really glad you enjoyed it and took all the credit for myself. Um, was it nice? While I watched. While, while you were there watching. Was it nice? Was it a good friend thing to do? No. But if I had done that, would we be talking about it some 30 plus years later on this podcast? No, no, because sometimes you got to forego what's right and do what's funny. Well, that does it for this edition of I've Got Something to Say. Hey, thank you so much for uh, tuning in and listening. Always fun to share these stories. Hope you enjoy them. Hey, as always, you know, big thanks to KCTK Radio, my friend Paul. Special big thanks today uh, for making this story possible. And we'll talk to you next time.